Hello. Oh, dude, I'm, I got the gate open and I'm just chilling. Ah, good morning, everybody. Guess what? I'm going to start off with a little bit of what? Wow, was that a train? Did you hear that train? That's a train. Sunrise and a train. Oh, wow. What a strange start to a morning that was. Hey, I want to throw, throw a little bit of a knowledge bomb. There's a fence line over there. What is, what's always on fence lines? I think I've told you this before. <sighs> You yeah, know, you know where I'm going with this. I've never told anybody. Educational moment. This is an educational moment right out the gate. So there's a fence line in front of us, and you guys always notice fence lines. I mean, take look. See fence line. What do you see on the fence line? Okay. Every single fence line you guys are going to look at. There's always going to be trees and bushes. Why is that? Oh, it's because what sits on well, birds. Avian species such as birds. Flying ones. They fly. What do they do? They eat seeds. What do those seeds do after they eat them? They, they pass through their, their they, cloaca. Yeah, they, they, they turn into little droplings that fall down and then they create trees and bushes. And the only reason why I know this is, is it's, it's a fact. I promise you guys, I only tell you guys 100% true factual stuff on this channel. And I know it's a fact because it was told to me by my wife's dad. He's like, hey, randomly driving down the road, he's like, hey, Rob, guess what? Actually, he called me Drew. Hey, Drew, see those, see, see that, see those, see those fences over there? Yeah, yeah, Jim, I see them. Birds. Birds created those trees. They poop and they create trees. And in my mind, exploded in his car not literally clearly but there you go let's start the day off with a little bit of factual i love it and some coffee facts 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 early morning facts and coffee that's mm, that should be like your uh retirement chan channel later in life early morning facts and coffee well on my rate my my channel's on its way to being retired yeah soon. I might just come join you. Oh, it's nice. It's nice and warm this morning. I'm gonna tell you guys that much right now. I made it a personal goal two days ago that I want to own every single rifle that every single. Well, I'm gonna try to. I have to pretty much win the lottery, but every single rifle that I had to use over. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna be able to pick up one. This one's been sitting in the back shelf of Brandon's office for a couple months now. Found me one. This is uh this was the one that I learned to actually shoot long on. It's the one that I got tattooed on my arm. I'm gonna show you guys. But this is the new rifle. It's an M24. Uh, a lot of you guys probably just think it's 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 a 700 chassis rifle but it's an m24 it's not really this thing's extremely accurate and this is actually one from the army this is one that's purchased this was i don't know exactly whose it was of course because that'd be kind of difficult but it was actually painted by some sniper don't know his name if you're watching this video thanks for your rifle i made a purchase for it but uh i can tell you right now these right back here were probably for the guy's dope whoever it was it's kind of neat kind of being able to touch somebody else's gun that was used overseas but he probably put this on here kind of like quarterbacks put those things on their arms just to just kind of have his dope on the side gave him his distances and his elevation and windage corrections pretty freaking awesome so with this new M24, I have no idea what it's going to be shooting. It should be shooting a uh, sub-minute group or a minute grouping is what it, it literally should be shooting a minute grouping. But it's a brand new barrel. So basically the thing is, is the military phased them out and Remington resold them. So the military bought, or the bought like long time ago, they had huge Condexes probably. I wouldn't know because I've never seen them, but they have a huge assortment of extra parts, barrels, triggers, everything like that for the rifles. So when they phased out the rifle, they basically sent the stock and the rifle back with the barrel and everything back to Remington and then they put a new barrel on it and then you can purchase the rifle it's pretty much the deal and that's what we got today so it should be shooting essentially it should be shooting sub minute groups because it's a brand new barrel on a old stock so rackley what gun did you bring again what rifle was it that's a 30 06 okay 30 06 oh just a straight up 30 06 here's a this was actually given to me by the guy that's walking back over there. There you go, there's a little sand sock for you, you're gonna need that. Oh, perfect. There you go, 100 yards out. I've got a zero this 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 rifle in as well, clearly, because you guys already know it's brand new, but Brandon brought out some more toys like he always does. This is that, that 10 or $12,000 rifle, isn't it? Oh, as I'm, boy. for some odd reason, caressing it, that's kind of strange. But he brought this one, we didn't get to shoot this one last time with the red paint job at all, the Twizzler gun. All right, dude, go ahead, dude. your turn. I'm gonna show you guys something. I just just realized this. So look at that. See the number two? It's engraved on there as well, and it's also in this whiteout. It's act, it's not whiteout. It's a paint pen. So that that to me <laughs> that is so nuts. Oh oh oh! You're dinging them. So that right there, what you guys saw, uh, not, not the shooting portion, but the underneath carriage portion of this rifle, that the number is actually the rack. Like the number that, so it would be gun one, gun two, gun three, gun four, and that's where it would go on the rack inside the armor, on the, on the arms room. That's, that's cool. That's awesome. When <laughs> the wind's making your eyes rain. So is it fair to hunt deer with this rifle? Yeah. You think it's fair? Why not? Oh, I don't know, just because of what it is. 
Oh, dude. oh, it's so smooth, the action. You ready? Yeah. This is gonna be center mass nut steel. Low and yeah. right. Low and right. Right. It doesn't even look like it boots when you shoot it. Gotta come up about What's that? a foot. I gotta come up a foot? Good. Yeah. There's nothing like coming up a foot. So you're saying I'd be like there. That seems like a lot. I was 18. Don't work. I was 18. Wow. Ready? Yeah, center. Alright, so you just need to come up for it. Nope, that's where I aimed. That's where I aimed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's where I aimed. I'm pretty positive. It was really okay. close to where I aimed. I'll send another one. I'll send, I'll enter, I'll aim center mass on the head. Okay. I'll aim at those two little nipple steel things I see. Okay. That's exactly where okay. I aimed. Let's go to paper. 15 minutes. Now, we, now we're going to see if this thing's actually a sub minute gun or a minute gun, which Woo. I think it is. <laughs> so this was actually a scope I had on my 300 wing mag before I sold it. We are going to float the rings right here. So this is a quarter minute adjusting scope. And for this rifle back in the day, it was supposed to have a one minute adjusting scope, which this, this, it's, it's pretty, it's actually better to have this quarter minute adjusting with this kind of scope because this gun is accurate enough for a quarter minute adjusting scope. But back in the day, you just want a quick adjustment. So the minute, so I did it to make math go a little bit quicker. And uh, well, I think now we're pretty much good to go. We're pretty dialed. Uh, we're kind of, I think everything's getting itself when, with the barrel wise, I think everything's getting itself kind of uh, worked into place, but we're stacking rounds on, on top of themselves at 100 which I think that's fairly fairly good so this is where we started first first couple rounds up here we ended up here that's a decent grouping and then we got one straggler which is always not good then we switched it over to here and then once again we have two touching and one straggler one den setter and then same thing have you noticed the pattern here every single time we're having we have two touching one straggler on every well, single you got a group good of, little I mean that's a quarter size group right there because remember we made adjustments here. Yeah, that was down to the adjustments and we finalized and we're pretty pretty confident on that. That's that's good. That barrel will warm up though. It'll be good. So here we go. We're actually gonna do a little bit of this action. It's gonna be well, we're just gonna do this just to kind of shoot for you guys out kind of long, I guess. We got a little bit of a wind going on. We're gonna shoot two, three, five, seven, and out to a thousand. I'm just kind of doing this just to make myself feel better and well, because you need to do it. So I'm at four and a quarter. You said right side target? Yeah, the far right target. All right, I'm ready. Send it. It's pretty center mass, I'd say, huh? Ha <laughs> ha, So I'm gonna throw it out there. So we found already out the gate 200. That was easy, one and a half. 300, four and a quarter, easy peasy. We're talking center mass. I mean, and if you can't hit anything out the 300 with something like this, you need to rethink what you're doing. Let's move out to five. Okay, so we're going from 11 minutes right now. 11 entire minutes. So how, how much is it dropping at five, would you say? At 500? So 11 minutes. Okay, so it's so dropping. Five, five, 55 inches. 55, uh, 55, 55 inches. Four and a half feet. Four and a half feet, there you go. So it's dropping four and a half feet from here to 500. And when you move to seven with winds like this, it's gonna be a little bit different. I mean, like, like, like seriously, we're just keeping this just so I can remember. I mean, two, three, it's been so easy, I mean, out to 500 is nothing. So we're gonna move out to seven. Now this is when it should start really, I think the effective range, I think they said is out to 800 in the military with this thing. I, that, that's, that, that, that we're doing a thousand no, all day with this. 10 foot drop huh, from here to 700. So 19 three quarters, so, so it goes to 14. Now from 14 to zero is an additional that's, minute. Yeah, so that's 15. So that's 15. From zero to one, so so we're over 15. So I need to go to four again. So one entire revolution, and then one. So basically, I need to go to 15 minus one is how I normally say it. 15 yeah. minus one, not 14 and three quarters. Correct. So 15 minus one. Da, 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 da. Oh, look at that! For, that's a full value right to left. That's a quarter value. You see that? Yeah. You always uh, right edge. Yeah. It's not hitting, we were hurt that. Yeah, Whoa! Hit. Whoa! It hit. Dude, it hit like four seconds later. Oh, I think it's because I'm, I'm... Am I the only idiot wearing these right now? <laughs> can't hear no, anything. I got them on too. Like, I got them on too. Uh, I didn't hear anything. You're like, I didn't hit it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we hit 19 and 3 quarters. Where did... Because I'm not... I can't see it on the target. Do you, know the, you don't know exactly where it's hitting? Uh-uh. Okay, so the first round... So, round one... 
But, oh, okay, so if you guys are just looking at this, so look, you literally put where you hit. This is the target we're using. Shot number one, shot number one and two on 500, and 700. Shot number one is unknown, and then shot number two is still unknown. Do you have an idea? It hit, no, though. it hit. So that, I'm, that's a ting. You can't. I'm gonna ding go ahead. Ding and dong. Just put go ding ahead and, and do, dong. Ding and dong. I'm gonna send another one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy people. And wow. also on a good note, this is the only time I've ever seen Lunkers with a uh, a binder and a pencil <laughs> <laughs> going to town. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna get right behind you so I can try to get the vapor trail. Okay. Maybe I can actually trace it in there. Da 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 da. I, get, I feel bad for this one. Set it. We're gonna actually physically, oh, that wind is just kicking, kicking, kicking. We're gonna physically run down there and take a gander at the target at 700. There's so much wind and mirage right now, it's like a little on the, the tough side to see. Oh, so what do you think? You think, so I was holding a little bit on the right edge. You think we're hitting center mass or just hitting anywhere? I want to know where you're hitting because it can make yeah. life a lot better. Well that and the wind's crazy right now, so. Yeah, the wind is, the wind's affecting it just a tad. Don't have enough muzzle velocity to put a mark on there. Okay guys, this is uh, this is when you know wind is playing a giant factor in your shots. So we were aiming at this target. This one right here. Right there. Look where the rounds are hitting. Wow. When we're talking, how many foot is that? Two foot right there left from this? That's that's uh, that's a shift in wind right there. Hey, but on good note, our elevation is good. Yes. Elevation's fantastic. I make that mathematical. That's all that really matters. I knew the wind was going to be a giant issue here because I mean it's blowing. So when you guys look at it, like here the wind will be blowing like a full value going like this and down there it might be blowing in our face. So it's like when the round's traveling through, it's coming through a different wind and then just gets completely shifted like two foot. Hey, I would have scared somebody. Shot three rounds, hit three times. And all we really care about right now is elevation. That's what we really matter. I mean, that's what really matters right now. Seven, 700 versus 19 and three quarters. So this is 19 and three quarters right there. What is that, what is a thousand? A lot. A lot, I like that, that's, just crank it. Give it a good crank and just send her on down. Just send her. Actually, we're gonna add 10 to get back to zero. Okay, so that's there's 30. 10. So you want me to do 30? So, well, that's 30, so. Yeah, I, I gotta know. go seven more, yeah. So. So you're saying we got two entire full revolutions plus an additional seven minutes to get an elevation of 37 and we're not worried about windage, we're just trying to hit the target real quick. See, 31 feet in the air is where the round's gonna go. 31 foot up and then down. Right. You ready? Here we go. This is gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's only 10 football fields out there for the 308. That is three, no, it's two and a half mils. Minutes. Well, on my scope. Yeah. Oh, you, are you mills in there? Yeah. Two and a half entire. You ready? Two and a half mills, that means it's moving at six meters. That's a lot. You ready? Yeah. I saw the hit. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's dead center, too. <sighs> <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we call that a zinger. That was, that was a two and a half mil hole, which is six. Oh, eight, seven, well, it's two mils is six meters. Okay, so we're looking at like seven to eight meters shifting from right to left. That was just a little bit of Kentucky windage from two random guys that somehow learned how to shoot somehow. Brandon, good job. That was fun. Yes, sir. It, it was fun. Anytime. Okay, now your turn. You want to send it? Just, just, just look how crisp and clean it is. You see that parallax on this? And look at that. Look how pretty it looks. That's look pretty. I'm gonna let you mess with it there. Out the gate, let me take a gander. Let me, let me, let me see if I can put it on camera for these guys. Oh, look at that wind. That is <laughs> brutal. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Zinger! Just leave it in that same position. <laughs> you wanna shoot? <laughs> Send it. <laughs> you're aiming, okay, yeah, so here, okay, we'll, we'll put it in perspective. We'll put, yeah. Let's put this in perspective so, okay, for people. So you're the target. That, you're the Rackley's target. the target. That's the target we're trying to shoot. We're aiming that far away from the target and the round is going, you can do it, buddy. Do it. 
Just send it. Oh, the very far one? The thousand yards out. It's not the mile out, it's a thousand. Not the, not the farthest target, the next one closest. The, just aim it. We got this. This will be easy. Get the heart and lungs. Yeah. Aim with the heart and lungs, it's just going to shift it that far. So, how's it look through your scope or through the scope? Uh, it literally looks like the ground's on fire. Yeah, that's a yeah, mirage. It's just like blur. Just, just a mirage coming up. But it, you, can you tell which way the wind's moving just by looking at the mirage? You see that? Which way the mirage is being pushed? Uh, you see it? Right to left. Yeah, right to left. That's how you know it's right to left winds, a full value. Wow. Crazy, right? Learn something new today. All right, so you're going to aim at the heart and lungs. Okay. okay. I'm going to do it. Just Send give it. her a good full send. It's kind of weird, right? This is crazy. Woo! You like that? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's, that's amazing. You can literally, it looks like spaghetti, uh, wind. The wind looks like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> is, the, is, the, is the wind, is the hold off kind of weird to you? Is oh, it's, it? it's crazy. So how do you, you have to literally sit here and like do the... Well, you so can do, You can math it. Uh, yeah. I mean, like you can sit there and say, okay, well, it's, we're holding it that far off, whatever it is. And you can actually take your wind shirt and actually put it on. You could but, do it. So, so essentially. Aim at the target. They teach you to dial, but then after you get it, you never touch your, you never touch these ever. You just see, see the little circles on the inside. Yeah, yeah. So then you start using the circles to justify or to 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 gauge where you are doing your hold off. See what I'm saying? That's so, why we were able to know how far we had to hold. So like we're, when the wind's blowing. Though, you see, how you so if you look in dead center, so you put your dead center, your crosshairs, and you see the two circles. Uh -huh. You held in between the the target that you were shooting at was two and a half mils. So there was between the two and the three circles. So that is actually math. Gotcha. See what it's, that's how we're. Do it again. Yeah. yeah. Rock it. Just. Send it. Wow. Okay. Hopefully I made sense there. I probably didn't, but... Ah, look how smooth that is. Listen for the zinger. There it is. That's a hit. Folks, with the right instruction, <laughs> anyone can shoot a thousand yards. <laughs> well done. Ah, it's hey, gold. The farthest you've ever shot? Yeah, yeah, is that the farthest you ever shot? Oh, 100%. That is? Yeah. A thousand? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that makes yeah. you feel good. There we go. Got Rackley out to a grand. All right, well, I don't think I need to shoot old Betsy over the area. <laughs> Here's the last look at the baby girl before she gets put up in the truck. I didn't bring a box for her, so she's just gonna ride with a seatbelt on, I guess. I'm telling you guys, this is just crazy to me. It's like looking back, like flashbacks, just looking at that right there. God, look how beautiful she looks. Look how beautiful she looks. I'll tell you guys what, it's like just gives me chills looking at it, especially seeing that engraving right there in that number two. I mean, this wasn't my rifle, but I know exactly what it's from, so it's just, just how authentic this thing is. So amazing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was that, that was the kind of day I like to start off with. A little bit of gunpowder and a little bit of coffee to start my day off. You know what I mean, that Freedom Rose by Free Range. <laughs> Taste it. And we also got to have a... He got the hit out of the 10 football fields today, which which makes me feel feel good that I got to witness it firsthand. Firsthand witness. All I Man. did was pull the trigger. But you, you, you I, pulled I in the right... I pretty much just followed the instructions. Yeah, but you pulled in the right direction, so we're good there. It is, it is literally only 11 o'clock, so our day has just began, and we have a ton of stuff. We're going to end up in a different state. By the time this video ends, we will be in a different state on a different mission trying to knock out something else. Big, big fish ideas is what's going to be half of the day. Until then, enjoy the dirt road of Texas and the sound of a diesel truck. I kind of like that. I don't even realize if I've mentioned this or not, but I think a lot of people are going to ask, oh my gosh, Rob spent all this money on guns again in his truck and then... Oh, no, I, I actually sold my 300 Winman, which I didn't want to do, but I did it because I couldn't like fork out extra cash to buy that M24. Just wanted to also throw that out there. And it's almost time for you guys to show the little bit of updates we've done to the truck. I have to drop it off. I, I want to get these minor things um, fixed. That's the best word. Fixed real quick because, it, I mean, it's done, but I don't... I, it, something needs to be fixed. That's, that's pretty much what we're going to leave it as. And then I'll show you guys when I come back. Deal? Deal? Clearly we have switched trucks. I dropped the other truck off, but I gotta be somewhat quiet because all Avery, she's back there just snoring. I'm 
talking. Avery was snoring so loud and so hard, and now she's sucking every bit of oxygen out of this truck. Just, 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 you know, making it to the airport. I'm with Hector, so you know, Hector likes to roll classy. Like when I, when I'm rolling with Hector, he's, he's always getting these kind of cars. Look, look at the car we're renting. This thing is. Did you get the Bentley? You got the Bentley, right? Yeah. Look, this is my car. Mad, imagine pulling the boat with that thing. I think this guy's age is getting to him. It is. It's like gout. You got the? No, you got gout. No. I got a doctor. Don't worry. You made me move just so you can get, can't catch me on camera being old. Made it safe and sound to food. Right, were you posting your blog? No, YouTube. Oh, YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Really? It's crazy, right? Yeah. You, you never would have like thought. show your fishing yeah, on there, too? Yeah, that's pretty it, much. Oh it's God, pretty, it's it's pretty cringy. Oh, you're going to do you're gonna do it in front of me? Yeah. Oh, this is super cringy. Ending middle console. There's a pair of sunglasses. Oh, those are mine. Related. Good. I'm cool okay. with that. And do you guys go with our basic or full coverage for the vehicle usually when you rent? Full. Full coverage. Yeah. Go ahead and put that on there for you. Just in case. Just think that's true, you never know. At least you can walk away from the car. The fish, the infamous fish. Okay, that'll work. Oh, so you guys clearly know exactly what I'm doing here and who I'm with. I'm with Big Hex. All Optic Hex. He's he's actually the one that got me started on YouTube and it was actually I guess this is more or less like a, a reunion thing because it, him and I used to come here back like I think uh, five years ago. Five years ago is when I actually first met Scott Martin here and it was with Hector. We came fishing with Scott and that was pretty much the deal and I did, I saw just started YouTube like two years later. Some really weird, crazy, odd, you get different, different time. So you guys know the deal. It's going to be fishing, action, coming at you, come, semi, semi live, probably day before. So. Click the video right there if you've not seen that one. Go ahead and click the one right below it if you haven't already. Hey, guess what? Oh, I just dropped that. <laughs> Subscribe right down there. Other than that, I love every single one. Thanks for hanging out. And everybody disappear.